Covering news where you live, 5 News at 10 starts right now. New at 10, the board of directors in Fort Smith proves how eager they are to bring the top secret Project X retail development to the city tonight at their meeting. While the unknown business hasn't selected Fort Smith as its city of choice yet, the directors are doing everything in their power to entice them there. But as 5 News reporter Lauren Spencer explains, the directors first have to make sure they stay within the boundaries of state law. Project X will hire 93 employees with an average salary of $53,000. The Fort Smith City Board of Directors say they believe that Project X could bring a major economic boost to the area. As the former home to Best Buy in the city has sat empty for five years, directors believe it's the ideal spot for a new retailer. It's similar to uh, uh, retail stores like uh, Costco's, Trader Joe's, Bass Pro Shop, Target. Why haven't they named it? Because this retailer hasn't confirmed it wants to go to Fort Smith yet. And the board of directors doesn't want to see it take up an offer from another city in another state. All the states that touch Arkansas allow their cities to give economic incentive packages to certain retail facilities that have an ex a significant impact on the city and in the form of large number of good paying jobs substantial capital expenditures, and tens of millions of dollars in annual sales. To keep the incentives in line with state law, the board hopes the Arkansas State Legislature will change the code. But lawmakers in the Capitol ran out of time. Arkansas current laws need to be updated to allow incentives to be given to these large retailers in order to stay in competition with surrounding states. In the last Arkansas legislative session, the House Representatives passed an amendment to the Constitution allowing certain large retail facilities that have a major economic impact on the city to uh, the city, the county, and the state to get broader economic incentives. Due to the tornado that hit Little Rock, we ran out of time to have the Senate hear our, our case. Now the Board of Directors has to wait until the next legislative session and hope the amendments move forward. Certain incentives the board is backing wouldn't take effect until the state law changes. If that doesn't happen in time, the city wants to move forward with another incentive plan. That plan would provide the retailer with $400,000 for 12 years, totaling $4.8 million in economic development projects and services including recycling facilities, distribution centers, warehouse facilities, and call centers. According to the documents, the money would be put in a joint account in the name of the retailer and the city, and the city leaders say disbursements of the funds would be in line with the Arkansas Constitution. In the future, the city will also vote on if they think 12 years would be enough and would also measure the progress of achieving their goal. The retailer would also be responsible for keeping accurate financial records and submit quarterly reports to the city over those 12 years. Each amendment to their original resolution that supports attracting Project X to the city passed unanimously. Now it's up to the business to make their final decision as the board promotes the impact it would have on the city. And these employees will buy homes, uh, vehicles, shop, and in addition to our community. They'll pay sales tax, property tax, income tax, and, and really add to the economic viability of our city. The estimated annual sales for Project X is around, to start off is to be around $28 million, generating sales tax for the city and the county and the, and the state. In Fort Smith, covering news where you live, Lauren Spencer, 5 News. So not everyone agrees with Project X. Some residents have previously spoken out that they do not agree with the financial incentives and the secretive tone of the project. We'll keep you updated as this continues to unfold.